Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs. In today's video, we're doing some more randomized rogue lands with Zero the Assassin. Let's rock it and roll it. Coming off a pretty fun run with Axe, and we got the Baby Maker and a whole bunch of fun kill skills. Unfortunately for Zero, I don't have the, the way to spam kill skills like Axe does, but that is okay. Alright, so we got Sniper Rifle Gun Damage off Rip if we want it. It's a nice one to get. Pistol Fire Rate as well, and then these two are more like... You know, more flexible. Oh. And for shields, let's do... Melee shield? Absorb shield? The amp seems kind of nice if I get a good sniper rifle. Adaptive could be good too. Okay, we ha we have a lob shock singularity off rip. We got double pistol bonus. Also, we're collecting seraph crystals for Tannis. I didn't get a chance to read through all the lore last run. No spoilers, but I'm paying a little bit more attention. Okay, so we do got grenade chor grenade chuck potential with that TDR SMG. Let's take a look at what skills we got here. Steady already looking like a great grenade chuck option if we want it. Um, death blossom for. Kunai, but the problem is that I do not have a death mark. I don't see it anywhere. No death mark anywhere. We do have one shot, one kill, which is a nice one to get when you're playing zero. I still think you go death blossom. I don't think that you shouldn't be going it by any means. And after that, honestly. I'm looking at the skill tree, and all I'm seeing is TDR Chuck shenanigans. Okay, Pitter Patter, let's get at her. Okay, so start with Skull TDR Chucks. And let's see what we can do. I got some SMG ammo back here, which is nice. Some transfusions for your lad could be good too. Oh, fire burst, though. How can you deny a fire burst against spider rants? Yep, get bursted, homie. You guys, too. Anybody else? Well, how about you just eat a T-Door, Chuck? Let's go. This guy made it through a gauntlet. Very good. Keep rolling. What are we looking for? Honestly... With, with runs like these, where we have a little bit of, uh, we have a little bit of splash damage already in our kit, we really do have synergies with things like the Hector's Paradise, like the Uncapped Herald, like the, with the Assault Rifle, the really nice, the really good Assault Rifle, whatever that one's called, forgot the name of it now. The P Peak Opener. You're going down, homie. You weren't meant for this. Oh yeah, spawn enemies though. I'm thinking about it, spawn some enemies. Let's see, shield capacity or T-Door recoil? Either one's really calling my name, but is it calling my name more than pistol damage? Probably at this point. I have a lot, I do have a lot of ways to buff up pistols. I could make my pistol build work. Like an unkept herald might actually be the nuts for me here. So let's see if we can do it. Jump across here. Pressure pad me. Okay, so that is an overkill with a band with a matching grip. Honestly, I might have to put some respect on its name. Having options to different kinds of snipers is always important. The only thing I'm leaving behind is this stalker. Sorry, bud. I just need a little bit more damage out of my explosive shotguns than what you're offering. This thing should be nice. As far as shotguns go. Okay. Mm, bang stick. Yeah, it's just not... It's not going to happen this round. Steady... Is really, really nice. And while I'm here, I probably want to take even more gun damage. But if I'm just doing TDR trucks, why does it really matter? Mm. And 
it's a, it's a good question. I think quick charge. Let's just get our defense up and running. Got our defense up and running. Getting my shield back every time I get a kill. Not completely, but it starts recharging, which is as good as getting it back, in my opinion. And we got a decent way to slag now, too. Just look at that. Take it. Let's take it and let's roll. The rust yards. This is where we make our stand. More spider ants, though. Gonna have asked for a better matchup. Spider ants, easiest enemies early game. Change my mind. You can try, but you won't be able to. It's like the freest rounds of all time. Except for these lads right here. This this lad can change everything. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna kunai. Splat them. Hopefully that we slag them. Doesn't look like we did. Okay. One at a time. Bada bing, bada boom. See ya. Where you going? Oh my gosh. He's put on the moves every time I go to hit him in with it. He's like, oh, pause, juke back. I don't know. I'm just taking random class months at this point. Let's jump up here and get this vault symbol. Easy pickings. More pistol damage and incendiary damage. Okay. Not a bad little setup we got going on here. I think reload speed makes a lot of sense with our build right now. Especially at such high percentage values for bonuses. And then you're asking, why didn't you take the reload speed on the left side of the tree? This one, they don't have to... This one doesn't require a first kill. Launcher max ammo. Makes a lot of sense to me. If we can cap our SCUs and have a really strong launcher max ammo relic... Maybe even a big boom blaster. I I could be I could be persuaded. I could be persuaded. Especially when I have access to things like um deception. So like in between launcher volleys, I just go into deception. Let's test the rack pounder is just fine. It'd be fine. Alright, last chest, then we roll out. Let's roll. So it's still TDR Chucks for now. I don't see reason to swap. Even in a tough area like this. We already got one. Quick charge is active. If I ever get in the danger, which I am not. Just watching my shield to decide when I gotta go into deception. That's all we're doing. Watching our shield to decide when deception is required. If I don't have deception at that moment, well... Hope that our quick charge can get the job done. Walk forward and walk back. Hey, okay, our shield's looking fine. I am gonna deception here. Yep. Okay. Nine out of ten should be Unmas. It's a bull loader. It's one v one though. Be relatively easy. What I kind of want to do is because this jump over here can be tricky. This, this, this jump over here can be tricky without doing a grenade jump. So I'm actually going to pull up the grenade jump now, then kill the enemy. That way I can still make it up there. Want to get me up there before the enemies get here, please? Thank you. So now, now I will rinse somebody. Now that I've gotten up here. The 1.0.9 update made it so that you can't take damage at the end of the round. As I've spoken about and knowledge at this point, but very nice. So we're already up here. We don't have to do the grenade jump anymore. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Uh, diversification. Sure. There's lots of racketeers, which couldn't go pretty good with. Build I'm running now. The magazine size is a little bit bigger. The reload's a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if it's better. A slag TDR though. Not bad. Um 
Okay, there is a chest back there. I do want to grab though. It's the only thing. Let's do ready. Advanced mathematics is good. But we got a lot of extra points in one shot, one kill. Let's take that. I believe I got the borderland symbol, but the fact that I didn't get the chest makes has me worried that I didn't, so. Assault rifle max ammo plus 70%. And tenacity relic. Okay. Okay, some more class mods. Cool number plus 13 could be good. More pistol stuff. I'll decide which one of those is best at later. Because I don't have ambush. I don't have two fang, I'm pretty sure. So I might have ambush. Which is a good skill on zero a lot. Like a really, really good skill. I do have ambush, yeah, down here. Okay. I mean I have a lot of zero skills in general, if you like in the skill tree. Honestly, a pretty good skill tree. I'm looking at it. Okay. Let's do... A current grenade's a fire burst, right? This is a better fire burst area than it is a singularity area. I think I already have a singularity. But things... I don't have boar. Like, typically when I play zero, I've got boar, but... I do not have boar this time. I don't have actually have any, any grenade on right now. So let's make sure that we put on this... Longbow fire burst. Deception out. Just buy me some time. Thank you. Not burning myself is probably the number one priority at this point. Whoa. Okay. Flaming lunatic. See you later. Lunatic bomber. I'm just going to take this guy out. Walk forward. Here we go. Later, kids. Later, kids. Yep, that's pretty easy stuff. Okay, you're taking two? That's fine. I still have a decent amount of ammo left over. 330. Steadies is the broken skill. Oh, yeah. And the quick charge just keeps me uh, topped off. Love it. Alright, let's open up some chests now that I've got a little bit of SMG ammo. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. S still looking solid. This this zone sp uh, spawns in a ton of lads. So. Let's just make sure we get the, the best possible angle. Kill the guy in the most cover first. And then the, then the people with less cover are become much easier to kill. They already have less cover. There we go. I'm okay with my ammo going a little bit low here because I got, I got chests next to me that will prioritize SMG ammunition. A dot is hurting me right now. Look, Luckily, I got quick charge, though, which is keeping my shield up, but I could be getting more up if the dot wasn't taking me down. This might not prioritize SMG ammo. A little bit risky of a pull there, but never punished, obviously. Okay, let's go for one of these Nomad Tyrants first, I think. Get him low, and then swap the other Nomad Tyrants. There we go, now they're both low. Go for main efforts. Get Nomad Tyrant close to me. There we go. Disappear, Ghost Miss the combat, move the kill. All those Kunai's hits. Now this should be the end of Assassin Roof. If not him, it's me. If not you, it's me, brother. There we go. Can't die after the round. 1.0.9 change. No need to... Oh, a splash damage blockhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really nice. Blockhead scales with splash damage. Not saying it's immediately going to be my number one option, but... I have an incendiary damage relic as well. Like, we got a lot of... Oh, minus T to a recoil? Let's shoot it without, re without it first and then swap. So without it, what does it feel like? Not a whole lot of recoil. I'm not dealing with a whole lot. And with it.
I mean, it definitely helps the, the accuracy, but not enough to counteract the amount of damage that we have. We're keeping it on. Shoot some buckets. Wait, I forgot where all the buckets were. Well, I know a couple of them are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it. One. I said one. There we go. I want to I want to use the blockhead while I have some synergy with it. It's a fun weapon to use. Two. Maybe I can actually get the third one by just shooting up, shooting my pellets up there. But with the incendiary damage, like I think, honestly, we should be doing just fine. Da, 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 da. Like I said, that that that's gonna be stuck in my head. The King George song from Hamilton. Not my fault. It's just the way it is now. This is my life now. Okay, uh... One shot, one kill, I think does go pretty hard. Velocity goes pretty hard too. Salt the wound with shotgun damage. Thing is, it's not necessarily going to be a shotgun zone. The only thing. It's not going to be a shotgun zone. It is a shotgun zone. But not a blockhead zone. Yeah, but not a blockhead zone. Not, not a fire blockhead. It is for now, but once I get... Um, once I get the Scorch, it will not be. Don't let the low damage against these Gallant spider ants fill you, okay? This thing is going to rip. Absolutely rip. Ooh, a Shred of Fire. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like that. Would I like it better on someone who can maybe boost us rifles, like, say, Gage or, Z or Axton with their class mods? Absolutely. But I'm not going to say no to a Shred of Fire on basically anybody. It's just, it's a consistent high damage weapon. What else could you ask for? Well, that's, a, that's a Tidor Grenade Chuck weapon. Fire. It's got extreme synergy with my build. Just to show you. Let's go to my old primary weapon. Pick up my new primary weapon. Blast them. What are you doing up there? Oh, wow. Nice. That was a nice uh, jump. Do I have enough damage to even get through this guy? I even have enough damage to completely push through a fire-resistant enemy. That's how crazy strong it is. There he is. There's the, the Scorched Lad himself. Scorched Miss Prime, even. Go back to our, t our standard TDR gaming. Because it, it's not fire. And realistically, you probably want to wait a slag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that the game will hook me up with some slag damage from Kunai, but they hate me, so this is the world that we live in. Okay, go for a little bit of that action, and let's go shredify, shredify my guy. Oh yeah. Come on, Scorch. It just feels so good to use. Feels so good. All right, let's go. Yes, sir. I can just go. I don't necessarily even have to worry about anything else. Just, just blast him right through his armor. Okay, let's see. Stoic Emperor SMG. It's got a it's got a special place in my heart for being my first ever one. A Lady Fist, a Ruby, a Rough Rider, a Creamer, and a Gwen's Head. A lot of good weapons here. Rough Rider is nice. Do I have any synergies with it? Any synergies to go along with it? Um. Any, like, fire rate while my gun... Yeah, okay, I do have Fearless. That's the synergy without shields. Is it worth it, though? Probably not. It's a tough call. 
But as far as primary weapons now, let's... I, I think... No, this TDR, I think, is worse. Yeah, it's worse. Okay. Five more points. Let's rock... That's true. And bubble gum. Increases fire with all gun types while your shields are depleted. I'm just nervous I won't have the healing. I'm nervous I won't have the healing to... to not die. I, but I do have an incendiary damage boosted... Ruby. Do you have an incendiary boosted Ruby? I could just rock some Lady Fist. It's gonna depend on what boss we get. Lady Fist might be helpful, might not be. Go ahead and see if we can pull anything in the box. Avenger. Okay, maybe one more pull the box. Okay, these are two really fun Borg assault rifles. And I have, an, I have, a, I have a assault rifle max ammunition, so let's go assault rifle. So I've got a relic for assault rifle ammunition. Okay. Then I have really nice options as far as assault rifles go. And let's get something for easy slagmentation. Some easy slagalaga. Or is heal more important? I think heal might be more important. We only need to have one assault rifle out at a time. So let's go slagalaga and two. Something that's good at slagging. I thought I had a, a bandit slag SMG. I could go Gwen's head for slagging. Let's just do that. And then number three is going to be heal. Heal and uh, yeah, this, this heals. Good. Do I have boar? No. No boar. Okay, let's rock. Okay, we got Hyperius. We don't have Boar this time, but we do have an Ogre, which I know will be good against him. Uh, think about things that'll be strong in the early... Or at least in the beginning here. I think this getting some extra damage from Impact... Will be good. And then we just hit him with some... Hit him with some Sorrowful shots here. Okay. Like that a lot. Good singularity, these lads. The ogre might not be the best option for this part, specifically. What if we went... Shred of fire for these lads? Yeah, that's not bad. Go down. Okay. Feel the fire is good, but you want to X slag. Slag here is not going to be that great for me, right? So. Let's just go this TDR and try to speed up our clear with some TDR chucks. That way we can get on the boss with our main effort weapon way faster. In this case, it's the Shred of Fire, but it should probably be the Ogre at the end of the day. There we go. Three chucks I'm okay with. Okay. Really not bad. If I need to, I can always got deception. And I also have the ruby. So I can always just duck into some ruby. The Avenger is good for Chucks. But the problem with the Avenger is that it, it, it fires like that. It shoots like that. It's just, it's just not that great. Doesn't do enough. So I'd much rather just have the standard damage. But it does refill the ammo. It does refill the ammunition up. Okay, 
Okay, we're out of blammo on that. Let's go back to our Shredder Fire. Use some kunai to give me a quick head start. Shield. Good. I should have only one more pass with each, each lad here. Here we go. Juke. Deception. Kunai. I'm okay doing it this way because I know that the ogre has enough damage to push through this guy's health bar whenever I swap to it. I don't have to speed up my clear at all here. Do I, do I have any way to heal right now though? Oh yeah, I could just pop up my ruby for a second. I just want to get my health topped off. Yeah, let's keep my health just a little bit more here. There we go. Now swap to the main effort weapon. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of crits. Let's go. Oh, the rockets are gonna hit, but we're, we're chilling. Last robots. I still have a thousand rounds to deal with. Well, that missile's in the midair about to hit me. Yep. Okay, still got a thousand rounds to deal with this ladder right here. Okay. Yes, sir. You see that ogre damage coming in? It's, it's so good against bosses. So good. It's no peak opener, but it is strong against bosses. Let's just take the damage, honestly. Who cares? Not bad. Easy money. Super easy money. Okay, what did we get? Evolution shields? Do not mind if I do. Do not mind if I do. Potentially the best shield in the entire game. Whiskey Tango Fox Trap, potentially the worst. What is this over here? I like I like the way that looks. B shield. The only other shield that can come close to competing with the the evolution. I mean the Rough Rider's good too. I probably have the three like the three S tier shields in the entire game. Alright. Let's go. Hopefully the B-Shield can keep us topped off. We have Deception. We have ways to keep our B-Shield up and active. Now we just need to execute. I'm hoping to get something that can help out the B-Shield though. I have- oh, Lady Fist. Lady Fist B is strong enough. Um, take out Dragons basically on its own. In my opinion. From my experience. So. We could lean on a little bit of Lady Fist B. That could be the way we want to go here. Uh, let's go get him. So I was just talking to the chat here for a while, and we did a little bit of a rework of the build. We're kind of dropping the, uh, the the splash just for now, but we're trying to see if we can abuse fuel the fire to get max to get max slag chance. It says right here, fuel the fire typically is a skill you use on Creed to light yourself on fire, but in this case, we're not going to be using it for that at all. Kill skill, killing an enemy increases your chance of causing elemental effects. Okay, right now my elemental effect chance is 120%. Um, so in this case, let's... We're going to see if this will... On a kill, on a kill. Let's get a kill first. And for that, we're going to bring out this, this ogre. There we go. So. Now, for 7 seconds, this weapon should always slag. You see that? 2, 3, 4. That's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine, nine. Okay, one, two. There's the two shatter. So what did we just learn? What did we just learn? And we might have to ban Rabbit Jr. He agreed. He agreed that he gets banned if he's wrong here. Oh, he's even dropping the math in chat, saying that he's he's right. Okay. Well, wait, hold on. Wait, I need to make sure I get my kill skill. Get the kill skill. Let's get let's get the hard numbers here. Let's not let's not try to escape obstacles. Because this guy's not slag. It should be guaranteed slag. Okay, it was. It was that time. It was that time. 
but it wasn't the last time. Let's get a kill. Okay. Should be guaranteed slag. I hit, no slag. You see that? I hit, no slag. I hit, no slag. Hit, no slag. There's three in a row. Four, five. Okay. What do we what did what do we learn here, folks? Oh guys, that guy's too tanky. We go for this guy right here. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure we make sure we don't die while we're testing here. Easy trap to fall into. That got pretty close. Today we learned that taking points into Fuel the Fire does not give you 100% slag chance, even though it says 120%, that number gets added, which I calculated out to be about 39%, 39.6%, I, I believe. Um, something along those lines, which is about, about what, we were, what we were seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and respec and take, out, take off that skill, and we're not going to run it. As much as it does help, it does help a little bit. Um, I don't think we're going to run it. So with that being said, let's go impact, quick charge, reload speed. I do want advanced math max as well. I'm going, I want to be keeping up my shield as much as possible for as long as possible. One shot, one kill still has some juice, I think, in it. Okay. Toss that. So yeah, now we know. At least the skill might not be working as intended, but 100% we know that it does not guarantee slag. Which is why we were testing it. Because honestly, you can keep you can keep kill skills up pretty consistently um, throughout this entire game. The only fight that I would say like it's hard is the dragon fight. Um, that's the only fight I would say that it's hard. Keep kills close up. There's, I mean, of course, there's high pierce and stuff like that. But I, I personally don't think high pierce is that threatening of a fight. That's my personal opinion. He's really just more of a DPS check. He's like, he's not an, he's not like a. He's like, he's more along the lines of Terra Morphus. It's like, do you have what it takes to bring me down or do you not? Why'd I pick up that power up? That's a rookie mistake. It's like, do you have what it takes to bring to bring me down or not? Because his 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 Nova scales up throughout the fight. And it starts to one shot you. And if you don't have what it takes, like transfusions are nice, but you run out of grenades. Same thing with Terra Morphus. Like you can use transfusions on Terra for a certain amount of time until they run out. But then you're like, but if you do have this, here's why Terra Morphus is such a cool raid boss. Is that it's like, okay. You don't have the healing. Nothing in the game is going to heal you enough to survive my lashes. Like, off rip. So we just lost a rainbow artifact to the wall. I should have been paying more attention. Maybe we could have grabbed it midair. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me before here on this stage. Okay, let's take some velocity. I'm going to iron up locked and loaded too. Fire, 20% fire rate is no, is no small thing when we're rocking an ogre, especially. Let's rock it. Tier 2 should be pretty simple. You'd say you might want to run a more accurate uh, weapon if you're going to be going B shield. But, I mean, how, how many times do you get to run an ogre plus a B shield? You know what I'm saying? It's really not that often that you get to have a privilege, privilege like this. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna make use of it while I can. Anything more fun? A lob shock singularity. That's fun. Let's go for fun here. Sometimes you gotta be fun maxing. Singularities are more fun than transfusions. You should take transfusions, it's a safer option. No. I won't. Singularity. And it's well, it's supposed to get them all grouped up, but they were too small. They just got kind of got something flying. There we go. Gonna find the enemy there, spraying too much mayhem out. The rubberized slag transfusion, I, I really do think does have some juice. 
you might think rubberize is bad but if you really take your time to aim it it's really not that bad i think if you take your time to actually aim the, the dang thing it's really not so bad right there that was instant slag on that skag and that would have gotten me back my health just saying just putting it out there i'm not saying i'm not trying to tell you what to do put some respect on the red rise's name would you it did not it bounced off the rabbit yeah but the slag still slagged the rabbit I'm talking about ways to slag. If you're talking about ways to slag and heal, let's, let's, well, we're not throwing the grenade. We're not, listen, okay, listen up. We're not throwing the slag transfusion for the damage, brother. It's specifically utility. Dude hasn't played any Wonderlands. Wonder Wonderlands players would know this. Wonderlands, when they switched grenades to spells, they did a they did a one for one swap in the game. They said no more grenades. Now you have spells. And it immediately clicked. Immediately clicked. That's all grenades have been all along. <laughs> Professional yapper. Mayhaps, mayhaps I yap too much. I need to stop playing Dota and go back to BL2 for a bit. Well, that's an obvious decision. Like, the fact that you haven't made the swap already. Like, you're not even playing League. And, like, listen, I've been trying to tr stop playing League myself. Oh, could be shielding. It's so good. Ogre B. Oh. Now, issue we're going to have is this Constructor. But as long as I have this B shield and not taking damage from shock enemies and catching him on the way, I think I'm a little bit confident here. Let's maybe go ahead and swap over to a... I, I honestly think we can maybe make a Shred of Fire work in this build. Let's go. When this Constructor drops in, we unload on it. Go ahead, drop. Yes, sir. That's why. That's why I'm the goat. Oh, I lost. I lost a little bit of shield there. Get it back ASAP, brother. There's someone to my right. It's, it's probably messing with my health the most. Or my shields, I should say. Cause my shields aren't full. Oh yeah, this is this is troubling. This is a worrying trend right here. Rebrise, do your dirty work. Oh, don't ever, don't ever disrespect Rebrise grenades ever again. What a toss. It jumped over all the railings. Every single one. It gets to its destination. It slags up the enemy. And it comes back to heal you. Anyone that's talking trash about rubberized. Sorry. It's, it's, an, it's an objectively wrong take now. It's just an objectively wrong tank. Hmm. I think asbestos is important. It's an important skill. Getting rid of dots, especially when you're playing with a B shield, it's actually okay. That's even doubly as efficient. Let's see. Sorry for damage. That might be better. Swebster says he sticks to he sticks to BL2 in Minecraft and his life is wonderful. No, you gotta have Swebster, you, you gotta have something multiplayer competitive in your in your repertoire. You gotta keep if, if you gotta keep your party game, your your co-op experience game s skill up. Because if you meet someone who goes, Oh, I like to play this game, again it's a co-op game. You might have just found a co-op partner and you just well you, you didn't play the game and now and now you don't not only can you not connect in conversation but also you're not going to be able to queue up five man a ram clashes and that and it was your own fault and it was your own fault at the end of the day we're not practicing multiplayer co-op games 
I'm not prepared to deal with that. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hmm. Good game. I, I think Kill Confirmed also gets a bad rap, too. I think it's a bad rap. It's a lot of crit damage. I mean, right, getting the crit damage right now doesn't matter as much because I already have so much crit damage with my Lady Fist. Which, as you know, will be the weapon of choice going into whatever raid boss I have to fight. Rolling Bonehead's a pretty nice roll, don't get me wrong. Alright, let's shoot up some skulls. Like, imagine, Bonehead, I'm basically fighting four mobs, right? Four to five mobs. It's actually like, if it was just the mobbing round, it'd be extremely easy. But, for a round that could have been Assassin Oni, or, like, there's a, there's also, there's a few others that are, like, just as heinous. Okay. Let's roll. Not a bad shield there, but our shield game is kind of, like, off the charts. Let's roll. Okay, Wilhelm is not the easiest boss in the world, but I think we might get to be able to get away with a little bit of crit damage here. What do I have for pistol damage? I do have some pistol damage that's going to help because the Lady Fist is going to give us, in the primary spot, it's going to give us a ton of damage to this guy's groin area, his groin section. He's gonna be screaming. It's you might this one might not be family friendly. Okay. And what's what's really cool about Wilhelm and a really good reason why I like fighting this character. You are you kidding me? A big reason why I like fighting this character? Go ahead, lower that shield, see what happens. That's what I thought. Deception out. Hopefully get that nuclear strike off of me. Okay, that's fine. My shield is getting damaged. I just need to get one kill, but that reflector droid is doing me dirty right now. It's, I need to get, have a... I need to, first of all, I need a kill skill. Thank you. Then I need that reflector droid to stop blocking all my shots. There we go. Now, now you're in for it. I, I, I don't think he's heard about second volley, Pippin. Oh, those missiles, can't, they can't, they sought me out. Those missiles sought me out. Oh, the accuracy is unbelievable. Lady Fist is top one weapon. I honestly think it, I honestly really do think it's top one. Personally. Oh yeah, I could have Ruby nade. Yeah, good point. But, I actually do have a reason to be playing at low health. I have a reason to be playing at full uh, low health because I have fancy mathematics. So I get my my B shield back faster if I play at low health. It's a little bit it's a little bit touch and go, but I think it can be useful in the right situations. Tidal wave, I called it my favorite weapon for that one time in that one run, and I've tried a couple times after. It's just it's I don't know, it just doesn't pump. It doesn't pump. Uh heading into a bunch of mobbing rounds, I th or wait, I'm heading into a raid boss. Is Onslaught going to be that helpful? I, I personally think it'll be just fine. So now I already clear Hyperius. So if I already cleared Hyperius, then every other raid boss is going to give me someone to kill. Terramorphous, however, those are not... Those are not it. Rabbit Jr. asks, Hey, why don't you drop all of your necessary guns? Well, because... To make my recording experience and just overall playing experience much more enjoyable, I filled my backpack to 120. I, I can pick up a lot of weapons and stuff. But here, I'll drop some greens for you. And I, and I used to, this was my thing back in the day, I would be still ready. Boom. Okay. I think it is SDU time now. It's time for my pistol to become my primary. Renages for sure makes sense to me. Uh, 
And I want to do one more pull at the box. Call me crazy. I mean, all, ro all roads lead back to the same road. Pistols. So in that case, we just go a little bit greedy and just go launchers. Let's go launchers. So heading into this fight, it's Lady Fist. The number one option swap to Ruby. If we see someone that takes damage from shields, is that really is that really how we want to play it? Stick with slag. All right, let's go. All right, hopefully it's okay. It is Terramorphus, who I would say is easy, but last time I fought Terramorphus, he gave me the work. The work, I'm telling you. So I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit careful here. I want something that can, that can heal me back to full. I honestly think a longbow fire burst mixed with ruby damage in this fight particularly might be the best way to heal better than a transfusion maybe we'll see either way i have the share of spadge to pick a couple with my lady fist damage we, sh we should be doing just fine all right remember what you did in my last run YouTube always tells me, like, you don't want your YouTube videos to be anticlimactic. They you want they want to leave the viewer satisfied. Well, satisfy this, brother. You destroyed my last run, and I hate you. Deception out that way. Pray you don't get hit. You got hit, and you and you and you and you sent yourself off the edge because you're an idiot. Okay, no, you're fine. Start spraying this ruby as soon as you see a Terra pop. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your hard work today. Don't hit me. I said don't hit me. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get hit. No, nope, not hit. I just need to get to this guy's left side, then he's toasted. Oh, close. Close. Don't same frame me. Oh, okay. This guy might end me right here. This is it. I want to pop up, pop back up as quickly as possible, please. Two rounds in a row. To Terramorphus. To, to, to Terramorphus. I, I have a new rival. I officially have a new rival. I just get so cocky against him. I did so much damage at the beginning there. I just lost all momentum. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.